Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the first of our NHL midseason reports as we're at about the midway point. I'm going to try to get all these in pretty quickly by the end of next week, so I have all of them in by the end of the quote-unquote midway point that I'll consider the midway point to be a bit past it at that point. But different teams are, of course, a different game, different games excuse me, in this weird COVID year um, due to the fact of the effect of the COVID protocol. But this is going to be on the Motown, the hockey town in America, Detroit Red Wings. We're going to start covering all the Discover Central Division teams. And this one's going to be on the minus 30 goal differential. Detroit Red Wings led by Jeff Blasio on expiring contracts. Who's done well, in my opinion, as a head coach. Um, he set a good system in motion. Guys that you want to see for potential trade value perform, like the Sam Gagne's of the world, the Bobby Ryan's, the Nemesnikov. Um, <clears throat> those guys have been able to do what they're supposed to do. And then Adam Ernay's come up and done fairly well recently. Mark Stahl, even in the last year of his contract, if someone's really strapped and can't find a defenseman, they might look to go to him since he's been pretty solid and pretty consistent for them. They got a guy in stretcher that they can move on from as well. So um, Stevie Eiserman's really done a good job as one of the best GMs in the game, obviously getting Tampa their cup there. Um, doing a good job bringing guys in that you can move for trade value later or in some merit keep. You're probably going to try if he's back and healthy to move Bobby Ryan at this point of his career for some trade value. You might even be trying to move to Kaiser, uh, who's a UFA after 2022, uh, with his five million dollar value since he's at twenty one at this point or thirty one years old, excuse me, at this point, so he's not getting any younger. And you are a rebuilding team that flourishing uh, with some young talent in the minors and in the NHL right now with Zadina. So you would like to be able to move on from some of these older guys when they're still at their good value. And DeKaiser's a guy that might be able to help as a good defensive defenseman that plays over seventeen minutes a night, a good competitive team. So I think this team set up to bring in more assets. But a big thing with the Detroit Red Wings, too, is they already have assets via three second-round picks in this year's draft and two third-round picks. Uh, so they're going to pick well, I believe, with Stevie Y. This draft, assuming they don't push it to do the double thing that's been rumored the following year and actually have the draft go on a schedule this year, this draft is supposed to be really good and really deep as well. There's just a bunch of good, about two to three good drafts in a row. So this is something that the Red Wings are going to look to take advantage of. And they're going to get more at least later round picks back. For some people, they're going to trade. Obviously, if you trade a Mechnikov, you trade a Bobby Ryan, you're going to get some, uh, but probably third, fourth, fifths, and you're bringing guys that you can potentially develop going forth and going forward. Um, they have players that you would like to see uh, more out of going forward, but still obviously you can do good. Like Evgeny Svechnikov, Michael Rasmussen, Adam Erne was one of those guys, but has been good recently, so you like to see that continue. Nemeth is a guy, you got to make a decision if you're going to keep or move for value. I have a feeling they're probably moving for value. DeKaiser's hard with the $5 million, where Stahl is 5.7, but is on the last year. Um, so I think if somebody really is strapped and needs a defenseman to look for him, so I think this team, obviously, it's very obvious that they're minus 30 goal differential last in their division and only at 10 wins this season at 10, 17, and 4 for 24 points and a 3, 8, 7 win percentage. This team is in rebuilding, and they were trying to bring in guys that then could set themselves up to be traded in order to get more value back, which is exactly what the Red Wings need via draft picks to keep stocking up on young talent. And that's exactly what Stevie Eiserman did, and that's exactly what Jeff Blasio was able to do, have guys like the Kaiser perform fairly well. Same with Mark Skull, same with Nemeth, Stretcher. Uh, Christian Juice is a wild card guy because he's an RFA. He's a guy that I've actually liked to played in Washington for a period of, short period of time. Um, is a guy that I think could develop in the right system, and Detroit, I think, could develop him. John Merrill, uh, we'll see if they use him as a trade piece or a good, solid, cheap, um, good uh, defenseman that can be steady Eddie when he's in a good defensive core. And then Heronic, obviously, I think they're going to stick on to. So you have guys you can move, and I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to bring in more draft pick for the future and for the present and be able to really stock up on young talent because this is a rebuilding organization. They got some good guys, obviously, in the captain, Dylan Larkin, in Anthony Mantha. Uh, even in Robbie Fabry, who was a good guy to bring over, if you're going to move on from him or keep him, I would personally keep Robbie Fabry. 
and be able to have him be a part of guys that you're uh, building around in your uh, forward core. And then Adam Erne, he's a restricted guy. I think they should keep him and see what he can do, especially with how he's performing of late. Obviously, or keep Zadina. Uh, be patient with Rasmussen. He's a kid that might take some time. He's only 21. Maybe he'll hit his stride at 23, 24. You never know. And uh, Sveshnikov, uh, you would like to see him get going soon at 24, but maybe he's a guy that hits it in his mid-20s at 26, 27. So we'll have to see. This team has time. They set themselves up good for being able to get more assets, and I think that's a really good job by Stevie Eisenman. It's going to be interesting to see if in the next period, because in the next set of years of six to seven years especially, this is going to be when the Red Wings really hit it and start going towards 500 mark then going up from there and starting to win so it's going to be interesting to see if they want to do that with blast show and have him go from being here in the rebuilding years to being here in the good years or move on from him let him go elsewhere and win sooner because the red wings aren't going to win any time in the next two years but maybe in the next three four whatever depending what they do with the draft and via other assets and what they acquire maybe some surprise team or surprise trades excuse me because eiserman has fleeced teams in the past in trade you have to see uh, you have to see what they're able to do. Um, this is just, again, a team that set themselves up immensely great for the future to be able to trade some guys here and already have a good amount of draft picks. Bringing in Eisenman was smart, but will Blashill be the guy going forward? He should be, in my opinion. He's a good head coach. He should get a chance, if he wants to stay there, to see it through since he's coached it very good through the rebuild but if he doesn't, then I think they should bring in, obviously, a very poised and wise um, coach. If you're going to bring in a young guy, it has to be a colleton esque guy, which I know there's not a lot of those guys growing on trees. But I think you're more in a better spot to bring in an experienced guy. And you're going to bring in somebody that kind of really brings it together and maybe can get you closer to that 500 mark sooner than I expect and others probably expect, which is probably two to three years down the road. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video of the midseason uh, look into the Detroit Red Wings. They again set themselves up good via Stevie Eiserman and the coaching of Bl Jeff Blashill. This has been Sports Fanatic News for Pro Joe. I'm Joe Borick. Have a great day and pleasant day and enjoy all the great hockey action, everybody. Peace out.